Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome to Timber and Stone. Here we are on day 44, and uh, I fast forwarded a day just while I was starting this out, mostly because there is a massive glitch with 1.3, which effectively means no enemies spawn. So after I killed all of the skeletons in the Necromancer when he was on the map, that's it. There's nothing else spawning on my map enemy wise. So I'm taking this opportunity and I'm starting my beachfront road. Or well, I'm not starting, I'm heavily working on my beachfront road and trying to get um, some good headway or leeway with uh, with this. And uh, at the moment it's gone quite well. I've got. Um, oops. My mentality is with this is that if I build up a higher wall, then the enemies that do spawn can't get down it unless they're a spider and so it gives the guys a bit more of a free passage to walk up and down and then I'll probably put some other connection here uh, I might actually just put the path along the front and up and around onto the main road or I may build a second entrance here I haven't fully decided yet how I intend to do that but um, at the moment we are simply building slowly and steady oops I can't count the number of bricks that I need along here so I'm also doing some heavy 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 duty mountain tweaking so that I can have the shelf that I want, that's the word I'm looking for, isn't it? The shelf that I want. It's all good in the hood. I have so many animals on the map at the moment, it's it's quite ridiculous. And because I have no enemies to stop me going and getting them, obviously it's a prime opportunity to go and herd them all. But I need another migrant to arrive. As soon as I get another migrant, then I'll be good. I'll be able to set that particular new migrant as herder and go and capture some of these animals. There's lots of chickens and lots of boar. Don't really need chickens or boar. From such a large team of miners is that sometimes they forget that they're miners. So it all kind of plateaus out very... Unless I deliberately build a bridge. This is one way of doing it, isn't it? Let's fast forward time a little bit. Let's take advantage of this feature. Oop. Nope, because it's the save point. Oh, good. It memorizes that in fast forwarded. Although I do like in fast forward mode that my builder loses all sort of logic when it comes to his building process. It was great when he builds this wall. He's just start building bits of it and then move on. See, here we go. Three blocks and then move on. I forget so this one's over here. And it builds a single random block. Oh, nope. He's kind of trying to build logically, but isn't. Mines are mining logically. And we're all working happily. So you, what's, what's wrong with that block? Why didn't you finish him for? Such a strange process. So if we're going to build a bridge, do we want to build down into the water and build arches? And make our bridge look all professional. Did you really need to use a ladder to get up one step then? Hmm. Really? You're using a ladder again? I just like using a ladder for no apparent reason. Now what are we broken? So 
fast forwarded time so much, I've arrived in the future. What's going on? How come you've all forgotten how to mine? Last hurdle, last hurdle, it's like literally the last five blocks to do. We really understand what's happening with my miners and they're not on lack of mining. It's a bit surreal. So which one of you is actually working? Clifton is the only one of you that gets their Christmas bonus. I know. Now I've mentioned Christmas bonuses. So oh, I see. I see how you guys work. No interest whatsoever in working unless there's some money on the line, eh? You sons of bitches. Milking me for all I've got, are you? So if I remember rightly, you build like a big plateau like this. in the water and then you dig out the middle and so on and so forth that's how you build down into the map it might have to be much wider than that it's going to look horrible but it's how you go through the process of building underwater in this game so let's also just fill in the beach a little bit just so that it looks a bit more natural Sand. Oops. I didn't even click a second time then. It just, you just did that. We don't really want any oh your glitch now what's going on here boop boop Oi. why can't you build that rock there boop what sort of weird glitch is this boop you can't build that block how about this one Can't build that block, eh? What have I done here? So hopefully, should be able to build that now. I'm not giving you a ladder. So mean to you. Digger versus miner. Builder versus miner. Miner loses. Or perfectly placed piece of everything from me there.
Hmm. Totally forgot I'm recording once again. Literally just sat here in silence for a few minutes. I don't even know. I might have been wombling. Wombling? Wombling. Waffling to myself. Or not. I think I was just sat in silence. These two dudes are trying very hard to get themselves fired. Out of a catapult, that is. You either of you going to do some actual mining? Miners? Yes, well done. You're going to have a heavy amount of work for you shortly once this pallet or pl pallet? Once this plateau is filled because you'll be mining the middle out so that we can drill down into the water. I haven't had any red messages implying that there's anyone being killed or anyone that's been in it. It's any enemies. You're training. You're sleeping. Where's the wobbly tree? Spot the wobbly tree. So where's Ferdinand gone? Come on, Ferdinand, where are you? Ferdinand. Oh, what are you doing? How can you possibly be sitting idle when there's so many trees? Quite literally the largest number of trees available for you to go and chop. To here, for example. Can't understand how that happened. How did you not think that all of the hundreds of trees I told you to chop don't need chopping? First off, we zoom out a little bit and I click the chop trees map. Everyone will see how many bloody trees I've told you to chop. Pretty much every tree on the map. Thanks to this new glitch. I thought, why not? Go and get all the trees. Just stockpile our wood massively. Let's deal with our five frames per second. There's no excuse. Ferdinand. I want to see all of these trees chopped. Chop, chop. Oops. That took a lot longer than it needed to, thanks to my five frames per second. Have a stroll along the beachfront. Interesting how you decided to stop building the plateau and decided to return here. Which one of you wants to be a uh, builder? Which one of you wants to be a builder as well? Level two, your first port of call. Level three. You win at the moment. Level one. Level one. So it's you. You are Mr. Seen. Already a level 20. You are now a builder. Whoop, what's happening here? We were saving again? Or oh, I crashed it. Nope, saving. Get to building. What are you. Oh, what's this? What is happening with you? Throb, throb. Throb. Can you build now? Can you build there? But it's that one. Throb. Throb. Come all the way over here. Throb. So there's weird individual blocks. 
you can't you can't do is there strange glitches this game is offering so let's have another fast forward moment Trying to work out what I can get my miners to do. I guess what I get my miners to do. In order to make this a cliff, I need to make it a cliff, don't I? So take away all of the dirt. That's really the best thing to do. Because dirt is of use to me. it and build it up to look like a cliff edge. Oh, and another block of magic. Which block is it this time? That one. relatively happy with most things and then every now and again you just find something that you refuse to do Just the height of this wall by one. So it's definitely that block. So bizarre. bizarre. So let's fast forward these guys through until it gets too dark to see and that'll probably give us, oh it's about 18 minutes, so that's good. It's a good point at which to probably stop the recording. You know, 20 minute episodes. Nothing really exciting happened this one, I don't think, other than I found another glitch. Um, which I'm guessing is not why you watch my videos. You don't watch me to find glitches that prevent me from playing the game properly. I'm taking advantage of a big glitch now. So let's see if we can fix this by changing the, we the weapon, changing the tool that you use. Nope. So the only reason this is happening is to piss me off. It's not happening with this guy. It's only happening with you. When you get there again, you're going to glitch it? Yep. weird.com so you're happy to fill in all of that happy to no, you can find another glitch again let's go and see if we fill this hole in nope so there is almost a consistent area of glitches but that's the end of the episode as it's getting dark now and so I will see you in the next episode where we'll continue building my path and hopefully soon we'll have a fixed or bug fix version that means the difficulty we were expecting with 1.3 will actually be put into place rather than an ability to abuse a glitch that means there's no enemies. So as ever, I hope you are enjoying the episode. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series. It's always nice to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now, guys.